Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Mass Planner video tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the Facebook contact tool. Please note that this tool is an extra module so in case you want to use this you need to purchase the extra module contact members. As you can see from your screen there are four sub tabs under the contact tool. You have extract members, use members, friend requests, and send messages. Let's start with extract members. From this tab, you can add the Facebook group URLs where you want to extract the members from or the Facebook profile URLs where you want to extract friends from. In this box, you will see all the sample Facebook URLs that you can add and extract members from. In this example, let's try extracting members from the Mass Planner Facebook group. After you have entered the Facebook group URL, you just click on Extract Members. You will also see here, scroll the search page for certain number of seconds. Here I've indicated 20 seconds, so it's going to scroll the Facebook group Mass Planner for 20 seconds and it's going to extract as much members as it can in those 20 seconds. If you want to extract more members, you just increase the number of seconds here. Just for the example, I, I use 20 seconds, so you click on extract members. Once it's done extracting, it will show you here how many members were extracted from that particular group. It will be sent to the Use Members tab. So let's move on to Use Members tab. Here you will see all the members that were extracted from that Facebook group. From this list, you can do two things. You can send them a friend request or you can send them a message. Let's say we want to send a friend request. So you choose a particular member or a certain member. Let's say we want to use this member and we send that member a friend request. Before you click send, you will see two options. You have remove selected members from the list after clicking send and you also have ignore members who already received an invite. We really don't want to remove the selected member because we might want to send them a message later on. So we're just going to enable ignore members who already receive an invite because it doesn't make sense if you send them an invite more than once. Let's now click on send and you are going to see one member was sent to friend request. Now we go to the friend request tab and you will see here under pending friend request the name of the selected member that we want to send a request to. But before we start the tool, you might want to check out the settings that you have here. You have the wait between timers between each new operation and process a maximum number of members per day. This is basically the number of friend requests that you want to send out per day and you also have here process a maximum of number of cancellations per day and this is the number of friend requests that you want to cancel per day. For example, you want to cancel the friend request if they do not accept your request within a certain number of days and you also have here an option to pick a random member instead of the first one from the list below. When you're okay with your settings, you just click start sending friend requests and it's going to start the tool. It's going to start sending the friend request to the particular member that you've selected. Once the friend request has been sent out, it's going to be displayed here under the results table. Let's go back to the use members tab and this time you want to send out a message to that selected member. So here you will see the message box where you can type in the text for your message. You can use a multi-level spin syntax which is advisable because you don't want to be sending out the same message to every selected member that you will be adding in the future and you can also use a token. What a token does is for example here we have hi and the token first name. What it's going to do is it's going to use that selected member's first name when you're sending a message. That will make it a little more personal and it's not going to look like the message was sent automatically. You have your hi and the token first name and then spin syntax how are you, what's up, hope you are doing great. If you want to check if your syntax is correct, you can always click on test spin and tokens. Here you will see hi John, what's up. Another is hi John, how are you and so on. You have here the option to remove selected members from the list after clicking send. You also have your ignore my friends and ignore members who already received a message. You might want to check 
ignore members who already receive a message because we don't want to be spamming their inbox. You can also click on ignore my friends. When you're okay with it, you can click on send and you will see here that one member was sent to send message and it's going to be sent to the send messages tab. You will see here the person or the member and the message that is going to be sent to that person. You also have again the wait between timers before each new operation. Message the maximum number of users per day. You can also pick a random member instead of the first member from the list below. If you're okay with the settings, you can click on start sending messages and then it's going to start sending the message to this person. Once it's done sending the message, it's going to be displayed here under the results table. So that's it for the contact members tool. I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.